Hi, Gemini. This is Sandy Couture, and I am here, <clears throat> excuse me, doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of December 2021. So, hey, all you Geminis out there, you've been really feeling it for the last couple of months because Mars, the planet of action, business, uh, government, has been stationed retrograde, which means it's been so slowly moving backward in your sign, in your sun sign. <clears throat> so you have been feeling the pressure that all of us has been have been feeling, but you're feeling it more on a personal level within your business, within your internal self. You've probably felt uh, anxious and stuck and not able to move forward in certain areas um, and being forced to take a look internally about what is bugging you and what direction you wanna go in. And that first card that I pulled for you is um, in this deck, it's called the shadow side. In other decks, it's called the devil, which is all about uh, looking at things differently, taking a look at how your mind is working and whether you're being, um, uh, confused by all of your thoughts of anxiety and fear and and uh, negativity. You have to be careful of those negative thoughts because thoughts become things in our life. Like it or not, that's the plain physiological truth. I mean, as far as physics goes, thoughts become things. So basically your challenge is to know you don't have to just sit and hang on to everything that's going on around you. This is the four of pentacles, and fours are usually good numbers, but this guy's holding on to these pentacles, and that's all about wealth and well-being. Like he's afraid he's gonna lose it if he doesn't hold on tight. So you probably have been feeling a lot of pressure and making yourself hold on to all kinds of internal things, maybe old ways of being, old ways of thinking, old ways of doing, but you don't have to do that. As a matter of fact, this is a, is a chance for you to grow internally and to be more balanced. Geminis have a tendency to overthink everything. There's so much in their heads looking for new information, new information, new information. They forget about the feeling side, the intuitive nature. And the process card is asking you to pay attention to that. This is the high priestess. She's all about intuition, deep inner feeling. She's sitting on a half moon. Uh, the moons are about feeling in your deep internal, um, deep feelings that you may have never exposed to yourself or anyone else. So your process card is to get in touch with those this month. And your most likely outcome card, should you acknowledge that you're having negative, crazy looping thoughts and question why that's even necessary in your life, Know that you don't have to hold on to old ways of being in order to move forward. Get in touch with your intuitive, um, deep feeling side. And when you do that, what you're desiring is going to move to you, whether you see it in the flesh or in the 3D yet or not. It already is. And I would wager that most Geminis at this point, we're halfway through this Mars retrograde um, process in Gemini. You've probably been doing some deep inner questing and it's gonna continue to go on and please continue to do it because it's to your benefit because good things, good actions will be coming to you by doing all the introspection and listening to your feminine nature. We all have feminine and masculine parts to ourselves. The trick is blending the two. So hopefully that was helpful for all you Geminis out there and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful holiday season no matter how or who you worship or celebrate. Have a great day and thank you for watching.